Hello folks, today we're looking at the calendar and upcoming events box in Moodle 2. I'm logged into a course space as a teacher and we're currently looking at the calendar block. The calendar block's really useful for displaying events information back to your students, but it's not so useful when you want to start adding those events in. So think of it more as display purposes only. At the bottom of the block, you'll notice the events key. So I can choose to hide different types of events or filter them out. We'll come back to filtering in just a moment. This particular calendar has global events, group events, one course event, and a user event. They're a little bit hard to distinguish on the calendar though, so the upcoming events block is a lot more useful for that. This also allows you to add new events to the calendar. As a teacher, I can choose to add a specific event for myself as a user, event for a particular group, or a course-based event. Bear in mind that when you create activities like assignment and quiz and chat, things that have due dates, they'll appear automatically into your calendar, so you don't need to worry about adding extra events for them. If you're choosing a group event, you do need to have groups in your course to make that possible, and you can select which group you want to add the event for. The date field is where you put the actual date information that you want to display on the calendar. So for example, you can put this one on the 17th of May and set the time for it. You can set a duration or just go, it starts from here and goes indefinitely. And right at the bottom, we can select whether or not this is repeated. As soon as I save it, I have the option to view it. I can then create more new events, or I can check the preferences and make sure that that event will display the way I expect it to. So I'm checking preferences now. It may be that you have a preferred time display format, 24 hour is default, but you can choose 12 hour if you prefer. And you can change which day of the week is the first day, so Sunday or Monday traditionally. These two fields, maximum upcoming events and upcoming events look ahead, determine how many events will display on your calendar and in your recent, uh, sorry, in your upcoming events block. So do be careful that you check what numbers you've got set here so that you're showing the information you expect to. And right down the bottom, we've got remember filter settings. So if you do choose to exclude global events, for example, the next time you load the page, the calendar will remember that you applied that filter. Last but not least, you can export the calendar and subscribe to it. These two functionalities mean that your students can export the calendar out and have it available to them when they're not logged in, which is fantastic provided the calendar hasn't updated in the interim. Do let your students know if you're relying on the calendar with them. So there you are folks, two fantastic blocks to make your courses a little more useful.